when working with ERP Next and uh, you want to do your own customizations, uh, it is advised strongly that you build your own custom app where you are going to be doing or writing your custom code. So on this page, I am on the Frappe's uh, uh, official documentation, and this is on creating an app. And uh, I want to be showing you, taking you through uh, the process of creating an app and installing it uh, correctly on your uh, current ERP instance. So Frappe tells us that what we are supposed to do here is just run this, uh, uh, this, 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 this code or this command, and it will go ahead and create our custom app. So let me open my instance here, and it's running here, and here I have the sim. I can just increase the font just a little bit. And here you just do bench uh, new app, and I want to just create an app for hotel booking. An app for hotel, hotel booking. And then enter. This is going to ask you for the app title, and by default, because of the name that you have put here, Frappe is going to try and suggest for you a name. So hotel booking looks good for me, so I can just click OK. And then you should up, add an app description. This one I'm going to say, this is an app to automate hotel booking. And then the publisher, you can just put your name. My name is Geoffrey Karani. And then you have an email, you can again uh, put your email. This is Geoffrey uh, Gmail. Gmail.com. And then an icon. That's not very important. You can just go through this. And then here you can add your license. Okay. By default, this comes with an MIT license. But if you're not using MIT, you can just change this to whatever other license you like. So maybe just click on next. And it's going ahead and doing that for me. And as you can see, it has given me a done, so this is success, and it has installed my, my app. It, I mean, it has uh, created my app. It has not installed it yet. So going to my folder, this is my, this is my, this is my, the, the instance I'm running. And here we have apps, and now you can see here that we have a new app called uh, Hotel Booking. If we go to our ERP Next instance, and we reload this to just make sure that uh, we have the newest updates. And then check on uh, uh, about. If you go here and click on about, you see here that my installed apps are ERP Next and Frappe. So what we would like to do now is that the app that we just created, the hotel booking app, we would like to add it to our, our, our Karani instance. And the site that I am running, we can just CD into sites and then we list. I am running the a site again called Karani. All right. So. How do I make sure that my hotel booking uh, app is installed in, in this site, in the current site? So we can just get out of here. And what you're going to be doing is, uh, is just run a command like bench. We are now installing the app. Let me just make, create some room here. Bench. And then you select the site where you want to install this. My mine is Karani. And then the next thing you are going to do is just t tell it to install app. And then you select the app that you want to install. Our app is the app that we just installed. This is hotel booking. So hotel booking. So again, the command is bench. Then site. The site is Karani. And then you tell it to install app and you give it the app that you want to install. All right. Click on next and it is installing the app. And if it is successful, you will get this message. If it is not successful, you are going to get maybe an error message here. But mine apparently is successful. And since my instance is already running here, if I come to my app here now and reload it, apparently it is not running. Let me just cross check. Oh yeah, it's not running. So I can just bench start it again quickly. And it's watching, so now we can go here and refresh our instance. And if that has been success successful, we should see that app in the list of apps uh, when we go to help and about. And yes, you can see our app has come here. This is hotel booking and this is version 0 0.0 0.1 master. Good. So the next thing that you are going to remember when you install your custom app, do not forget 
to activate your development mode. And how do you do that? Again, let me create some space here. And just go to sites, list. And uh, again, go to inside your current site. So mine is Karani. List it. And let me just clear this. Then list this. You can see that we have a site config.json file here. So you just need to, to let me just first of all check uh, what is inside that file so I can cut into that. And I can see here that I have a develop, developer mode set to 1. If your developer mode is not set to 1 here, you can just vim um, site config. And then you make sure that you have added this line if it is not there. Or if, if it is there but set to 0, make sure that it is set to 1. Okay. So let me just quit. I don't need to save anything. The next thing you are supposed to do to just make just cross checking and making sure that everything is fine. Just get out. And then uh, here we have apps.txt. Your app, the app that you just installed should be listed on this apps.txt file. So again, if we cut into apps.txt file, we can see that our app is listed here. So we are safe. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And that, that is how we install. Uh, we, we create our custom app and install it. And by the way, before I close this video, inside uh, this app, uh, the directory, the directory structure looks like this. We have our app here. Then we have a directory that is called the same app. And then inside of that, this is a module. Okay. So this is our app. And then we have the module. And this module is basically empty right now. And then we have other things. This is where we're going to be putting our website if we are doing that. This is where we have our CSS and JavaScript files. And uh, he, this is our hooks file. We are going to be using this uh, very much. Again, I showed you how to use hooks on the previous video. But I showed you on how to you edit ERP next hooks. So if you want to be safe again, like I said, when we are starting, write your hooks now in this file. You'll be safe. All your hooks, whether they are used inside of the hotel booking app, whether they are used inside of the ERP next app, just write your hooks outside of ERP next files. So if you want to check the if you now come here and look 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 for look for module module definition list the mod the, the app that we created the module the first module that you see here will be bearing the app uh, the name of the app that we just created and that module is this one uh, this one right here so this is a module so if you create another module it will appear on this directory structure. Thank you so much and see you on the next video.